unifies graffiti artists, breakers, musicians, and DJs in our stock in Stockton and Northern California. So thank you so much. But if you don't mind, <laughs> I I just want to say. Yeah, the teacher. Thank you, Get in there, too. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor City of Stockton appreciates you, Chris. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> but this would not be possible. Hi, Max, come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Listen, you don't know this, but maybe you do. But Ivan was my student. Yeah. He was my student back in 1999, 2000. 90, okay, I got him to be our school mascot. Yeah. He was the only tiger, the only mascot, I think, across the nation that could spin on his head. Yeah. And we put other schools to shame because he was it. But let me tell you, you want to know how I convinced him to do it? I said, we've got 60 girls on the cheerleading squad. One hen, I mean, he's got, we got one rooster in the hen house with 60 hens. So he was like, wow, well, maybe that's not such a bad idea. But this would not be possible without you and your crew working hard to bring this to Stockton. And I want everybody out there to know that we're gonna do this again. This is not a one-shot deal. And again, thank you to you and the crew. And this is the first annual Mad Fest. Okay, so let's continue the show. Let's continue the show. Hey, it, it ain't about me. It's all about the community bringing all the elements in to, to, to happen all together again. I, I don't know why it got separated. It should all be under one roof. And it's like, we all gotta come together and bring everything back together. So that way, somebody, you know, will be able to get inspired by, you know, one of the elements at least. And we gotta inspire the youth to do, you know, positive things, you know, for this city because the youth is going the, you know, it's, it's going the wrong way. So, hey, so thanks, thanks to Hood App, Thanks to uh, Jeff Bonnie, yeah. you know, thanks to AJ helping us out. You know, it was a team effort. We had to do it. Hey, I won't take too much of a time, uh, KRS. Yo, kill it. Don't kill the beat. Don't kill the system, but kill it, bro. That's my man over here. He pushing it. That's my man right there doing it, y'all. First of all, I just want to say thank you for this. Because this does mean a lot. This means a lot, a lot, a lot. Because what this signifies is not only just love and respect from the city of Stockton, but it also signifies, this is, a, this is evidence. This is evidence. Let me show you what this is evidence of. Real quick, just so y'all know, we're here at a hip-hop event. So it's only fitting for you to leave with a hip-hop consciousness and i'll spend just five minutes on this As a matter of fact the, the five minutes i would have used rhyming i'll give you all this let's go hip means to know this is what you need to know this is knowledge before we started breaking mc and graffiti writing and djing and beatboxing the fashion the language before all of this, I'm going back to the Bronx, to Sedgwick Avenue, Cool Herb, 1973, Cedar Park. I'm there with my brother. Me and my little brother are in Cedar Park. We lived across the street from Cool Herb. Herb lived at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. We lived 1600 Sedgwick Avenue. 1973. Cool Hurt comes out at the request of his sister Cindy. Cindy was having a birthday party and she asked her brother, who was writing Cool Ass Clyde, 
this guy that named Cool Ass Clyde. He was a graffiti writer, actually from Jamaica. Imagine that. He's actually in the Bronx putting his name up, and his sister says, I'm having a birthday party on August 11th. Would you DJ it for me? Cool Herp then came off the walls doing graffiti and started DJing. He would play the breaks of James Brown and Sly and Family Stone and an obscure band called the Bongo Band, which played a record called Apache, which had a record called Apache. Cool Herp was known for this. He would come out in the park, like we in the park right now. He would come out and start playing his music free for little people like you. And you're not that little, it's just that I'm too big. <laughs> but he would start playing music for young people. I was eight years old when Cool Herc started playing music. I would sit and listen. Me and my brother, we didn't know it was hip hop. We had no idea what we was doing would become hip hop. It was nothing. What it was, was us. There was no label on it. There was no, there was nothing. It was just us being us. Us not being afraid to be who we were. Imagine, if you can, 1973. Shh. You can. You can. Some can. It wasn't there. But you could go various films, so on. Try to take a look at what 73 was like. Okay? 19, so first of all, the Vietnam War was ravaging all communities in the United States. All communities. And you had corruption like you can't believe, poverty like you can't believe, and ignorance like you can't believe. Young people like you were faced with these horrors. Most of us were killed, went to prison, and, and listen to what I'm saying to you. Most of us were killed and went to prison. The ones that didn't was the ones that took their art seriously. Everybody in the hood could spit a rhyme. But after you spit your rhyme, if you went and robbed the liquor store, you was in jail by next Friday. So everybody in the hood had rhymes, but you had to stay out of trouble in order for your rhymes to become a career. This is the part that nobody wants to talk about. They present rappers like we criminals. When in fact the criminality of the rapper is really about the survival of the streets. When you look at rappers talking all that crazy, what they're really showing you is courage. Superhero, you got it right. What? That's exactly what it is. We're saying it in the wrong ways. We're saying it in rebellious ways. We're looking illegal. We're looking crazy. But what it really boils down to is that this system don't have control of my mind. I'm independent. I'm not afraid. This is what it really was about back in the days. Anybody selling drugs will tell you, I don't want to do this. People on TV, oh yeah, we in, the, we in the trap house. Nah, when you know dudes and some of y'all with me right here, right now, you really in the trap house you're trying to get out. <laughs> you ain't in there chilling, making videos and shit. <laughs> okay. You try, you doing what you gotta do to eat and you trying to get out of here. First break you get, you trying to get out of here. We trapped. Really? Really? So I mentioned this to say first, Realize that before the breaking, before the MC, and we had to first be ourselves. And there's consequences to being yourself. That's why so many people never became what they were supposed to become. Why? Because there's consequences to you being you. You scared to be the real you? And this is the beginning of hip hop. This is the beginning of it. Because once you're not afraid to be you, then you can be Bismarcky. <laughs> once you're not afraid to be you you could be all dirty bastard you know once you're not afraid to be you you could be krs1 and this is the point most of the rappers djs b-boys b-girls graph writers that made it the first thing you will notice 
is that they were not afraid to be themselves. And this is what now you look on the radio, TV, everybody trying to be like somebody else. That's such a violation of original hip hop. Yeah. Original hip hop thrived on the idea that, yo, you Big Daddy King, you put out the dopest album ever. But I'm Chuck D. My joint is over here. Yo, you Chuck D, you Big Daddy King. But I'm Rock Kim. Oh, you there. But I'm Tribe Called Quest. Oh, but you that. But I'm De La Soul. Oh, but you that. Everybody got their style and played they they lane and in that intelligent hook damn you just, come on man everybody don't got cassettes listen man everybody don't got cassettes everybody ain't got cassettes and vinyl you talking intelligent hoodlum everybody ain't got turntables but I mentioned that to say and and and, and I mentioned that to say that first Never be afraid to be who you are and have the courage to be yourself because the real real of it is that if you really be yourself, you may get fired from your job. Yeah. You be the real you, you like tell your boss, man, I never liked your ass anyway. Yeah. You know the consequences to that. But it's the real you. And see, I mention that because the real you may have to get a divorce. Jano, the real you may have to get married. <laughs> the real you, you know, you, you say, look, I'm going to be the real me without apology. You ain't going to have no friends. You see, these are, this is, these, are the, these are the steps that you have to take in order for hip hop to become real and successful for you. You look at the biographies of anybody who made it in hip hop, chances are they have somebody else that passed away before they made it. Look at this. All the greats, I mean, talk about the ones who was here for like 30 years already. In the beginning, we all lost a brother, a sister, a mother, a father. And it was almost like we all get together and talk about it all the time when we see each other. It's almost like they had to go over there for me to be able to do this here. And you say like, Dan, I sound like such a justification, like nah. But when you really look at it, you look at all of us, you look at Puffy, you look at Snoop, you look at Latifah, you look at everybody who had someone close to them that they lost. That person on the other side is looking out for you right now. And this is the last piece I wanna say to you, is that nobody gets to the top alone on their own. Nobody does that. You got to mess with people. You can't be a racist. You can't be sexist. You can't be afraid of people. If you're trying to get ahead in the world, you got to be an open mind. An open and broad mind. Where you're able to understand a large group of people. This is what people are getting trapped in. Their minds are too small. And not that the mind is small, they're limiting themselves. Yeah. You already know. And that's why we can't say nothing, because it's their fault. Come on. And this is what it is. And, 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 and this is, and underline that part you just said, it's their fault. You see, that's why you can't blame a system. You can't blame a government. You can't blame somebody else. You have a mind. And with that mind, you can do anything. One of the things I was just rhyming about was that there is no space and there is no time. There isn't. There isn't. Go back when you leave here. Read up on special relative. Or read both. Read theory of relativity and special relativity. Read both of them, okay? Einstein already wrote this out in mathematics. Perception. Is all we got going for us. We are perceiving the world in which we are experiencing. When you change your perception, you change your world. How do you change your perception? By changing the words that come out of your mouth. When you, when the, when you understand that words, words, the brain cannot see without words. We, there's a lot going on right now in this environment, but we don't have a word for it. So our eyes see it, but we just overlook it. 
You know, look at this speaker, for instance, right here. We all say, oh, this is just a speaker. We looking at it. We talking through it. This is what it is. But an electrician sees this as a whole, whole different thing. You already know. My man right here, the sound engineer, he sees this as a whole different thing than the way we see it. And why? Because he has other words to describe this. We say speaker. He says amps, ohms, watts, wires. To this. He got all types of stuff. So he's looking at this differently than how we're looking at it. The more words you know, the more things you could see. And so a broader vocabulary, which is what MCing is really about. Woo! This is what it's really about. Word game, your word game. How you spit your lyrics, your words. So at the end of the day, when you realize that the brain, can it sees through your vocabulary, you broaden your vocabulary. When you broaden your vocabulary, you broaden your understanding. When you broaden your understanding, you've broadened your intelligence. Because that's all understanding is. is intel that's all intelligence is, is understanding. And get that through your head. Make sure you young people get that through your head. <laughs> intelligence. Intelligence is not book learning. Intelligence is understanding. To be able to understand. That makes you intelligent. Book reading books make you knowledgeable. It gives you information. It makes you educated, but it doesn't make you intelligent. And this right here, I know I'm talking to some some of us in here, maybe uh, of Mex of Mexican background. Some of us here, maybe of Mexican background. I say this specifically because the Mexican culture is big on intelligence. Go back to your history. Don't let, I'm African, okay? Proud the fuck of it. But when I look at my African history, that shit connects right to fucking Mexico. You better say it a few times. We, you don't understand how we are the same people. When you look at the geography of South America and Africa, you can see that was one continent at one time broken off. Look at the pyramids in Teotihuacan and the pyramids in Egypt. They're identical. Okay? Look at the cultures that we're dealing with. This is what I'm saying when it comes to intelligence. You can read books all day. They're going to lead you away from your people. When you become intelligent, then you'll be able to look at a map and be like, oh, I know where my people are. I don't need you to tell me that. I can see right here that Africa broke off from South America. I can see right here that this was one landmass at one time. Tell me my history from back then. Not this Cortez bullshit. Tell me my real history. And when you find your real history, you'll come to understand that history is not about skin complexion or race or ethnicity, real history is about character. The real history of a people is in their character. This is where you find who you really are from. Because the more we looking at race, ethnicity, class, we falling into the same colonial problem. We falling into the same, that's how they looked at us. We never looked at ourselves like this. Mexican, African, you never looked at yourself like this. You looked at yourself according to interests. You was united like we was. Family clan. Interests. Some were united with the king. Some wasn't. Some had a guild cooking. Some didn't. Others were over here with the buffalo. Others were over here with the cow. This is how we was united. There wasn't no one Mexican people. That's colonialism. If you really want to find out who your people are in Mexico, then what you got to do is look at the character of your people. You ain't from every Mexican. Like, I'm not from every African. We say, yo, we got to look at Africa. No, we don't. I need to look at the character of African people. That's my history. I come from a race of philosophers. That's where I come from. Why? Because that's my love. That's my... my, my being. That's my trait. This is where I come from. Black skin is not where I come from. I come from a lineage 
that stays on my heart and stays on my being. My mother had it. Her mother had it. Her mother had it. Her mother had it. Dig within your soul. Start talking to your grandmother. Start talking to your ancestors. Burn a candle. Put an apple, a piece of fruit by their faces and tell your ancestors you love them and you appreciate them and you want them near you. This is your culture. This is not some trick. You let the colonial culture tell you, oh, Mexico, oh, you guys are worshiping the dead. Oh, you, you got damn right. Never let them take away your culture, take away your traditions. Mexican people defeated death and knew how to talk to the other side. Don't let these people take that away from you. Not everybody is immortal. Mexican people, you are immortal. Your forefathers and mothers defeated death. And they wrote it on the side of pyramids and walls. But now we don't want to see that. We want to see MTV. We, we, we want to see our culture on TV. We want to see Mexican people make it on sitcoms. Come on now. So with my little bit of time, I'm going to leave you with this. And just say, not only is it an honor for me to stand here before you today, it is a complete honor. But this honor that I've received today, I have evidence of it. <laughs> I have evidence right here in my hand. And I appreciate it. But I tell you this, more than anything, I appreciate your presence here. Because when the flyer went out, you could have been doing anything. You could have been anywhere. You chose to spend your time here. That means something. That means that you guys are of a higher level of consciousness. And this is what higher consciousness beings seem to forget. It's called humility. When you have a higher consciousness, you have humility. So you don't see yourself as special. You say, oh, I'm just me. You helping people. You got a peaceful disposition about yourself. You, 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 you're not the one to start the problem. But then somebody says, yo, you are, you, you're not the one to start the problem. You say, oh, it's just me. You say, yo, you the one that's helping everybody. You say, oh, it's just me. You say, oh, no, you the one, everybody else robbing and stealing. You the one giving and hoping. Oh, it's just me. Nah, let me tell you something tonight. Anybody responding, to an event like this is of a higher consciousness. Everybody saw the flyer here in this place, in this 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 town. This, and I I, I can't even say the city Stockton. I have to say like the people, like like the cab driver saw it. The, the the people of the city saw that this event was going to go on. Some said I really want to be here, but couldn't. Others said, I ain't going to that. Yeah. Others said, I got to be there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I got to be there. This is your real history. You see, this is the real traits. This is, this is what's been handed down. Everybody's not going to respond. And if you notice, we're not responding according to race class and ethnicity we're responding according to hip-hop we're here on behalf of hip-hop breaking them seeing graffiti our dj we're here because we love this culture so if you really love hip-hop understand understand that rap is something we do hip-hop is something we live and when you live the culture of hip-hop you realize that to preserve the culture is not about preserving artifacts and things of the culture. It's about preserving yourself because you are hip hop. This is why we say we are not just doing hip hop, we are hip hop. Therefore, the preservation of this culture is the preservation of yourself. When you preserve you, you are preserving hip hop.
When you are taking care of you, you're taking care of hip hop. This is so important because some people don't have a motivation as to why they should take care of themselves, why they should go get educated, why they should start a family, why they should start a business. People have no motivation. They say, I'd like to do it, but yeah, I'll get to it whenever I can. You're being selfish with your goals. You're being selfish with your purpose. When you realize that you belong to something, that's where the success starts. I was homeless, broke with nothing in 1985. I wrote a song called South Bronx. South, South Bronx. I was South in the Bronx, Bronx, started, wrote this song, South Bronx, South, South Bronx, right? Yeah. I wrote it for the block. I wrote it for my people that were around me. And that made the record a hit record. And the bridge is over. The, the bridge is over. What about you, Listen, these records were written for my homies around me and for my neighborhood around me. They weren't written for me. They were written for people around me. Take that in. Whether you do it at your job, school, your art, entrepreneur, don't do it for yourself. Do it for the people around you. The energy that comes on you when you're trying to help somebody else is beyond this world. Doors open up. Try it. Try it. You know you need help doing something. You know you want to do something. You know you have a goal. Don't work on your goal. Say to, say to the universe, you know I got this goal. This is, this is what I want to do. But I'm going to help somebody else get to their goal first. And then I'll get to mine. I guarantee you, while you helping this other person get to their goal, it is inevitable that your opportunity is gonna come in that. You better take this secret, it's a secret. People don't realize the fastest way to get rich is through charity. Yep. Yep. Yeah, real don't fun. realize it. The quickest way to get money is to give your talent away. Keep it simple. Keep it real simple. Yeah. Yeah. Easily, one plus one is to, come on. How the computers, computers only own ones. Owns and ones, that's all the computer is. So I say this, thank you again for this. I'm going to end this. Um, are there MCs in here? Are there any MCs left in here? I'd like to open a cipher real quick before I go. It's only fitting. I shouldn't just come through the city and spit my rhyme and not hear anybody else. Uh, so if we could just throw a beat on real quick. We're going to go out just on a freestyle level. This is the tradition of the MC. Whenever I come into town, i got to honor the local MCs, I'm passing through. Make sure you support your local MC. Support the MC that lives next to you. Support the MC that lives with you. Put Stockton on the map. It already is. Can't front. <laughs> Stockton already worldwide, but y'all can <laughs> turn the light up. You can, you can turn your spotlight up a little more in Japan, maybe. Let's go. You know. Yo, throw something on with the MCs at. Y'all scared? What's up, y'all scared? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. I only got one mic. Give me the cord mic. Yo, Pop, lower it down halfway. Halfway, that's good. Give me the another cord mic. Listen, check, listen. Check, check, KRS check, one, check. we are no stars. But I'm only gonna go eight bars. Eight bars yeah, and yeah, pass yeah, yeah. it. Check, check, Boom, check, check. Pass it. You got the next shit. Pass it. Very fantastic. I'm feeling right here because I'm about to go boombastic. I got a cord mic from Compton to Stockton. I tell them right now that we are rocking the mic. That's the MIC. Call it Mike Jordan or Jackson. I am a four done. Everything on the different kind of scene. I'm going to pass the mic. That's the MIC. But it's okay to be right or wrong. It's all good because you don't hit it like a bong. Uh, I see you right there. I see you right there. We better keep it going because I'm about to not ever care. Yeah, this is Stockton 209. My conglomerate. I be ripping and stopping everything I'm getting. I am on this shit. Make some noise. If you win the city, if you paint up Get a picture in front of the spot No, I'm not famous, but I see a little bit of light inside my soul I keep it going on, doing what I do And I go, and I feel like Frodo when I'm small I then get bigger, this is something And I'm taking a bigger picture, I'm with it It's that, it's that eight bar flow, about to give it up Make some noise if you still hear, say what? Yeah, yeah, yo, say what? Say what?
I'm lyrical, at the same time spiritual I'm the lyrical individual, people mistake me for a criminal And I know this is a freestyle, like hell is one Understand because I'm next to him, and I know that I'm number one And I'm Mexican, doing it for my brethren, doing it for Egyptians And I know that I got these ballistic, and I got these statistics Can the be my murdering, understand because every other rapper out here is gonna be like He heard of him, and I know that I'm him at the same time with a lyrical flow Whenever I'm gonna be spinning it slow, and I put every other rapper below Because I've been practicing so I practice, I'm never an actor, never an actress, I know that I act this And I know you, had, you, had, you never had to act this, I spit this poison People are gonna be saying, what well, lyrical music is this for him? And I know that I do this for the beat phase, beat boys in the art form I'm a static, I do this because I'm hardcore! Yeah. Hey, yo, shot to KO I'm holding mics like when I get a sandwich, I told him hell the mayo. I do my thing, I keep it in tune. He wearing my favorite color, and that is maroon. Like a baboon, I'm no show my ass. And it's Saturday, but I'm still going to class. Chilling with walk, drinking seeds like a moth. Favorite flavor, strawberry. Shot to Gary. Shot to my boy Rob, who's running around with his son. You know I'm doing my thing, and shot to chaos one. Hey. Out to the legend, the boy G double S so gotta come out, man. Ain't gon' say I'm gon' bust it, but I do. Hop up on the beat and freak that sheet and beat the sheet. No eyes leaves, but your boys and eyes like open. See? Hmm. That's the third eyes. I'm coming wild like from left field. Your boy might sing around, but I do it well. Coming back, tomatoes like Indian and that's a fact. Hey! If you don't believe it, then I gotta keep it on the field. You know I keep the shit nice. Oh, I don't wanna say the mean words, cause the kid's right there, I keep it nice. Well, let me grab the mic and stab it. It's a habit, that nab is still no kid, kick man like Saget. Little magic tragic, avalanche, y'all know here. Go to that shit, that's stuck, I'm blowing that dope today. The water on the jungle, humonga, talk word wumba, mumba, drama. Gary got to get it, hit it, and I'm gonna split it because I did it. Yeah, yeah, when I come yeah. with precision, every other day, yeah, just drill gifted. I, I wanna spit it for the 209. Where y'all at? 209, yeah, we love to grind and we love to shine on them blocks out east, on them blocks out west, out north, out south. Yeah, we doing it loud, but the weed real loud. Yeah, we getting it, it hot, and we all in the crowd. Everybody put your hands up if you love 209. Everybody put your hands up, 209. <laughs> Uh. I've been stressed as fuck, ain't got the best of luck Feeling like a brick, but I've been spread too much Over bread that went moldy five days ago So I'ma get high and find a place to go Search my thoughts and maybe silence my mind Craving peace like a hippie wants a violent decline Or am I lying? Do I want to stray? Stab a dude To tell the truth, I can't wait until the day I have to Look if a crackhead ran up on me and my kids I could pull out my shank and start leaking his ribs Cause I'm down for mine, so please don't test Another fucking reason not to leave me stressed To be the best, I gotta be in it Yeah, 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 yeah Check this out, huh? One time, okay, we'll be on here for a minute, yo, yo, yo. Hey yo, I'm in the lion's den with Goliath and a box of mints, rockin' Tim's, standin' taller than the Eiffel Tower, Ben, I'm one of the finest of 2 